So guys, welcome to um the Monday market analysis. We normally do this every Monday and Fridays to prepare ahead or uh, to prepare for the week. Dave, are you going to go first? Okay, no problem. Yeah, let's see what you got. <laughs> okay. Let me show my screen. Yeah. Okay, so let's start here. Actually, this is what I was looking at here. Um, I took this for you when. Yes, I took this since last week, and it's still on profit. This was the trade that I told you that if it hits my TP target, I'll pass um, phase one. Yeah. Well, currently, currently, it was this close this afternoon here to hit my TP for me to move to phase two, but it made this pullback. And I just saw this evening that once you sent to the group chat, that the news of tomorrow, GBP news, is around seven a.m. So I'm oh, still holding. It's going to be. It's going to be very bloody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what's well, going to happen to GBP tomorrow, but I do believe, um, the I'm sure it's coming up because this sale has been too too long. For weeks or so. So I just hope it should be coming off. At least just hit my CP target and I know that I'll move to the next. Well, for that, we don't know because for <laughs> the other um Swiss franc pairs, that is for AUDCHF. AUDCHF yeah. has already set to go down. Then we have GBP. We have... um. USDPHF also, and then for the other one, uh, I've forgotten, but all the Swiss franc based currencies are setting up for the downside. Okay, well, then another one I, I was in last week one, still on profit, sir, was um, this GBP card I waited for this to break above and it made this retest and close there this was where i entered and it's still on profit although this is quite slow yeah i feel maybe the news the GP news to tomorrow should trigger it to move faster but the other trade chart is on break even because i was on about 200 pips up already in gpchf so that one is on break even. Then this is what I was looking on for other pairs, GBP USD for this week. I don't even know. Okay. okay yeah, yeah, I was yeah, expecting, yeah. Yeah, you're on long on GBP um card. GBP card. Yeah. Nice, nice. Then I was expecting price to get to this region. I think maybe successfully did because this. Is looking like a, an inverted pin bar here. Yeah, this last bearish candle. Yeah, yeah. So I feel maybe it's coming for a fifty percent retracement, then continuing to the downside. But let's see how it goes. In let me check from the daily time frame. Okay. On the daily time from here, we saw a couple of resistance. One, two, broke out close below. Here, two, broke out above and close below. So, with this on the daily time frame, I think it's still showing like a pain blast time. And the
see how those is last consolidation level. Um, what else do I have? Okay. Well, this one I closed it since last week. There's no real solid movement. The daily candles just look so weak. The bearish candles. So I just had to start going back to my entry. So the other pair I was looking at was um, USDJPY. Um, I was expecting price to actually reach here for me to take a shot on this. Maybe to this level first as my first TP before thinking of going longer and um, going all the way down here. But I think price has still shied away from there. So I will just keep monitoring to see how that will play out by tomorrow. Then GBP AUD. I think price is coming down to this level where we had our fair value gap and did not really make that drop down. And it seems like it's rejecting from yeah. here. I, I noticed this, that today. Yeah. Yes, yes. This 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 noun is a demand zone, a very, very beautiful demand zone. Like very, very beautiful. Now, if you go on the four hour time frame, you you what you'll be looking for is for a change of change of trend. Yeah. Exactly. You can see if I wanted to enter this, I would have entered at the retest of the previous bottom. Yeah. Give me in profit still. So this is a very, very nice trade. Like that is for AUD USD. Should be going down. Yeah. Should be going down. That is the USD. She's talking about AUD USD. Oh, sorry. He... Okay. Sure. The fair, fair value gap. The, the way I'm looking at it is might not need to go into it we said oh it's and that's how all law so yes it just went one time i remember that that was like two months yeah. ago yeah so this is the data it has reached this level from there it started Dave, rejecting Dave, back. please allow wisdom he's requesting to join okay yeah I think so. I have to unshare first for a while. All right, no problem. Probably if this should close, maybe a pool bounty. Why? I don't understand. Sorry. Why would you be expect another pullback to make a W, a double bottom, or? Yes, because on the four hour time frame, I think he's already making that slide. Let me go there. I'm seeing like something three? like this already. Oh. Yeah. You will head and show. You mean? Okay. So maybe, maybe it pulls back tomorrow down to this level. Okay, no, 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 you don't look at it that way. You don't look at it that way. You are waiting for 
the last yeah. hook to be broken, then you get the pullback to the neckline of this double bottom here. And you mean this lever? No, this this um you know the market made equal lows here, and then we yeah. have yeah. the middle, we have the middle there. Where the dodgy yeah. is. Yes, yes, yes. So you are looking mm -hmm. for a breakout of this neckline, then a pullback together with Fibonacci. Yes. Or yes. you can you can better I'm still saying. you can better still draw a counter trend line once you see a four hour closing above the counter trend line. You enter and your stop loss comes right below the last low the market made. Very, very perfect. And be rest assured that it's just going to go to your own direction. Nothing, there is no two ways about it. Yeah, this should be perfect. So currently now, we'll just be waiting for entries on this and we longing it back to this level. What level? Hi. Oh, the two, okay. When you are looking at the it's level, multiple. when you are looking at the levels for this, you should look at the Fibonacci level. Because it came back to the okay. Fibonacci retracement region, which is a golden zone. You should be looking at the negative 27 fib mm. extension and also the 618 fib, the negative 618 fib extension for your profit. <laughs> can you can can you can <laughs> Dave, do you have the fib? Can you do it or shall we leave uh, Eddie to do it? <laughs> no, 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 do it. He's presenting. <laughs> No, it's just the way you're calling him. Calling it. I'm just feeling for him. It's okay. He knows. He knows. Ah, Dave now boss now. <laughs> ah, are you telling me? Are you telling Dave, me? Dave is a boss, cashing out on Loki. Settling hey. in you see. <laughs> are you telling me? But, uh, mm, mm, mm. I don't mm. understand. It sh isn't it meant to go to zero? It's I'm gone to that. zero point. Okay. You haven't finished, Abby. Mm. Dave, you need to reset your you need to reset yeah. your don't worry, I will, I, share, thought... I will share you guys my fib settings. Okay. Yeah. No, I thought it's going. No, I don't understand. I thought the fib is going from the bottom Dave, to the go top, to your weekly and then time it's frame. gonna go to your weekly okay. time frame so we we'll see it uh, more clear. The last uh -huh. look. I'm coming. It's from the low, not that one. I thought it was no, the previous the one. Yes, this one. From there, hey, to, from the, there. to the to the to the top the of the the wick. There. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. That makes perfect you see, sense. You see what I'm saying? He doesn't have the negative twenty six one eight station. And it doesn't have ah. the negative 618 fib extension. Okay, so which one are we saying is going to? Negative 27? Negative 27. He doesn't have it. He has to reset his his Fibonacci. I will send I will send you my Fibonacci setting so you you'd set yours as mine. No problem. It has been okay. tested. Can you send it to all of us, please? Yes, yes, I, I, I will. It has been tested and, and trusted by um, Swaggy C, Dapper Willis, uh, Ooh. who else? Eddie Chooks. Has it been tested by Eddie Chooks too? Yeah, yeah, it has. It has. <laughs> <laughs> it has. So, you use your yep. You can also use the daily time frame for your profit taking. Well, based on um, I don't know if you guys are seeing this. I, I, I think this thing has retested. Look at the neckline of this double. Bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Resistance to support. Yes, that is what I'm saying. It has been tested. So what you are going to be looking is still in is still in a downtrend. It's still in the downtrend. Yeah. That is from the daily time frame and then the four hour time frame. Mm -hmm. What you are going to be focusing on is mainly on the four hour time frame for that change of that is market structure. Character. Yes, mm -hmm. market structure. Once it breaks the previous high, you know that that's changed from being mid-term bearish to mid-term bullish. Once it changes, 
then you wait for the pullback. You can even enter at the break of the counter trend line, which is a very yeah. perfect entry, an early entry. You can see the pin bar that made the equal lows. We had the yeah. Yeah. if you're, if you're mm -hmm. watching if you're, if you're watching this market at this point, just I don't even know. I'm not I'm not really interested in GBP AED because of the way the market is just uh choppy, choppy, choppy and stuff like that but if you're watching the market at that point you have just entered and then that was an early entry if you had to use 1.0 you'd have divided it to 0 0.5 once you saw the change of character then you enter your own um second lot size which is 0 0.5 yeah so i think that was all I have for today. Let's or for the week for now. Let's see. Okay. I have I'm doing A U D N Z D. Alright. Go on. My screen is loading. Okay. So what I was saying, I came here, didn't make, he made probably a little retest here on this support level, came back and it has been moving gradually up. So I think they missed the entry, Sha, because actually I followed the monitor from here, coming down and it retested this last consolidation now. It was a breakout and I think it started moving up. Probably to take out this next level above. Go on. We'll see how it goes. I think that's all I have for now. Not too much. So I'll stop sharing now. All right. Thank you very much, Dave. Um Anyone else okay. wants to share or give us um, what you are doing for the week? Kick Samuel Wisdom Trade Hub. Wisdom, sorry, I didn't hear you. Um, I said not yet. Okay. Samuel, what about you? I have not seen him. All right. Likewise, I don't have anything. Is there a GA I'm waiting for? Okay, GA. Yeah. I'm Just on. waiting for that one. <laughs> All right, let's let me share my screen. So it starts. Um so um I have I do have um I don't really want us to be trading this um S P five hundred. I don't want to be sharing it like the way I used to do, but it has a very, very nice um trend which we have seen. I was trading this market as of um, the week when it collapsed, or the, I didn't even know what happened that it collapsed. It was beautifully moving up. All of a sudden, it retraced from the previous high we had here to breaking this um, low we had in the market. So for now, what I am basically looking at for is for a retest around this area. And you can see that on the daily time frame, we had the market made a low here. The market made a lower high here, made a lower low here. Now we are expecting a potential lower high for the market to make before we see the break of the counter trend line before we enter this trade. So if you look on the four hour time frame, what we do have here is a very, very perfect change of trend. Um, network. Sorry guys, my network is holding this up. Ah, 
Uh -uh. The daily time frame is opening, but the four hour time frame isn't opening. What's going on? Bosha, the. Can... can you hear me? Yeah, I'm hearing you. Network yeah. has been really bad of late. Anytime I'm um, hosting, my um, trading view tends to be loading longer than usual. Yeah, that is a normal thing. So, what I wanted to explain on the four hour time frame was if we um, potentially have the break out of this counter trend line, then we have a pullback. We go lower to the one hour time frame. Awaiting um awaiting the the supply zone we will have on the one hour time frame. I don't know, it's not opening. If not, I would have showed you guys what I wanted to show you guys. But shall let's continue. So we are looking at an overall target to this low. And if the market comes here and then breaks it, then we'll be looking at um an overall target to this room, to this low here. So this is for S&P 500. I spoke about it on the weekly forex forecast yesterday on the Zoom on the um on my YouTube channel. So the next I want to talk about is Euro USD. I don't even know what is going on with the network. Oh, that's fine. All of a sudden, started misbehaving. So let's look at GBP USD first. We have looked at um S and P five hundred. Are you guys still hearing me? Yeah, I'm still hearing you. Yeah. I can hear you. Oh, oh, thanks. Let's look at GBP USD. GBP USD on the daily time frame. I already went short. I explained it in the video yesterday. If you watched it, um, we had this resistance, resistance, and then we had another resistance right um, below here. The market went up. This was a complete fake out in the market. If you know about market manipulation, you can see that even after the market came back to this previous area of um, resistance, 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 to use it as support, you can see that the market actually tested that area for a couple of times. As of this time, we're looking to me and Dave and I were looking to go long on this, but unfortunately, that stopped us out. And then I noticed um this um big red candle which broke down below this resistance. Now the market has currently used it as a um resistance again instead of using it as a support to continue the uptrend, which invalidated my own plan on going long on this particular currency. Now we are looking for a short position on GBP USD because of this whole fake out. And you know one thing about fake out: when fake out happens, they tend to go very, very massively to that intended direction. The fake out, the opposite direction, the fake out happened. So this is what I'm looking at for on um, GBP USD. And then on the four hour time frame, I had a sell limit. I had a sell limit set on this previous area of um support here. Previous area of support. We had this. If you look very, very closely, this is a supply zone around here. This is a supply zone around there. You can see how the market tapped uh my own sell limit and then dropped down. And what Dave was explaining when he was talking, we had that this is a gravestone dodgy which is a bearish reversal. If you look very closely, this is a gravestone dodgy. I'm currently on FXCM. You might not see that on Uwanda or Forex.com, but this is on FXCM. Um, very, very perfect reversal pattern. Reversal candlestick to the downside. So this is what I'm currently, we might as well come back here to retest this year, but I don't really care what will happen. My sell limit has already been triggered. So, I'm in the trade already. You can do yourself a favor also to look for other selling opportunities around there. I'm very, very pretty much sure that um, GBP USD, our overall target for the next couple of months will be to this low here, given that the market hasn't really filled up the gap that has formed. And then if you look at market structure from the weekly time frame, 
the market has been making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. Whenever the market wants to change trend, you can see that you can see how the market will start chopping around, changing trend. The market tested this high, making it a double, making it an equal high right above here so what we should expect is for a continuation to the downside and then if you zoom in closely you can see that for the week the market didn't really make the weekly week which i still feel uh this dodgy candlestick we had for last week should get filled even if we are going to still continue to the upside this dodgy candlestick we had for last week should get filled before even if we are still going to continue to the upside. But one thing I do know is that the dodgy candlestick is going to get filled before we continue to the upside. And then if you look at this area here, around 1.30,000, you can see how the market retested it perfectly with that same four-hour candlestick we had. Let me show you guys. With that same four-hour candlestick we had, so you can see this particular candlestick we had there. If you check on the weekly time frame, this is the same candlestick we had right um here that retested the psychological level of one dot thirty thousand. Are you guys following me? Yeah, we're following you. So So um, this is what I'm expecting for GBP USD for a long term so hopefully if these levels are taken out we should be looking forward towards this level. I'm not saying it's just going to drop like that. Obviously it's going to move like the way the market moves. It's, it's just going to move like the way we have moved um, around there. So just expect some zigzag movement but then we are still hoping that our overall target bumps down to this area here. So this is all for GBP USD. Any questions, guys? No questions. No questions. So the next is um Euro. The next is Euro um USD. Euro USD has a similar outlook we had on GBP USD for last week's trading we had that dodgy candlestick which we normally say if you want to enter you should be looking at the traditional method or the 50 percent retracement method if you calculate this from from here to up you can see that the 50 percent retracement region is around this point that is at the retest of this descending uh, trend line we have right above there so what we are currently mm. expecting what we are currently expecting is for sorry did anybody say anything no i was agreeing sorry i was agreeing with what you were saying i was like hmm, hmm. Okay. because there you've got two confluences yes you've got the horizontal and then you've got the diagonal and you've got the sorry the candlestick yeah so i was just agreeing with what you were saying i'm trying to understand everything sorry <laughs> Yeah, no problem, no problem. So, please, if you don't understand, you can also stop me. I'll explain. So, if you look at this um dodgy candlestick, we have an area here for the market to reach before we drop down. And then for this week on Euro USD, the market really hasn't created that lower week, which is a normal thing. Um, which I'm still yet convinced that this market is going to drop drastically to the downside. Um, if the news comes out for tomorrow and then subsequent towards the end of the week. So for Euro USD, we are looking at an overall target. Remember, I told you guys at the start, at the ending of 2022, the market started making the move to the upside, making higher highs and then higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher high. And then the market broke um, structure we had previously. The market started going into a sideways uh, movement which is a normal thing for the market whenever the trend wants to change the market usually does this kind of uh, movement so what i'm going to be expecting is for iran retest around 1.09477 which is the uh, middle of this pin bar we had for last week's trading and then um if you if you are looking to entering 
for the 50% retracement you can enter or wait for a breakdown below that spin bar or you set a a buy you set a sell stop below that spin bar to um, activate you whenever the market gets below there so looking at what we have on the daily time frame it's a really really very simple setup now what we have i'm, I'm really short in this from last week so looking at what we have here we are looking at um a retest around this area here which is a previous area of resistance previous area of support here resistance to resistance very very perfect one we are looking at this because of what the weekly time frame gave us about the dodgy candlestick we had for last week's trading so <clears throat> very very simple setup once we get um the 50 percent retracement level will come down to the four hour time frame which we look for change of character you can see that the market has really really been choppy since last week so once we get that we are looking at the um, break of ctl which is the counter trend line looking at the break of um, this counter trend line once we retest this area then the break of this um, counter trend line which we also make this an inverted head and shoulder pattern a very very perfect one you can as well wait for the break um, of this counter trend line or you wait for the mini break of the inner counter trend line we have right um, above here or you can as well wait for this break here to happen anyone you choose is a very very perfect entry for you i just want you guys to minimize your own risk if you are going to enter here it's a very very simple setup very very simple and it just explains how market structure works. Other people are still looking at this as a break, which I don't really see any uh, any break. And then if you look at um, the one hour time frame, I think we do have a supply zone right uh, right above that area. I drew the fifty percent retracement. This is a supply zone, guys. Let me show you guys. This is a supply zone here. The perfect supply zone. You guys are not seeing, but I'm going to bring this back. So this is a supply zone here. You can see how the market drops consolidated. So we are looking at a round retest around this area, maybe a week into this area, and then a drop down below to break this counter trend line. So this is a very, very simple idea, very, very simple setup. Just want you guys to understand how these things work. If you're able to read candlesticks, and then understand how the market moves yeah very very much good to go any questions guys all right i have a question you know when you said that it's a supply zone and then you said we had drop and then is that like the same as when some people do drop base drop is it the similar thing please can you can you come again i'm not understanding the okay. drop base okay no, I don't understand it. My, I don't understand the drop. You know, sometimes when people are trying to explain the um, supply zone, yeah. some people will say, oh, it did drop, base, drop. So drop, consolidation, drop, or rally, consolidation, rally. Is that the same thing as what you just said? You just showed us now. You know what you said that we've got a supply zone. How would I have known that's a supply zone? Um, um, a supply zone, You, we have many supply zones on different time frames depending on okay. the depending on the trend i will show you something when i come to btc just remind me i'll show you a supply okay. zone. no problem yeah the trade so the supply zone usually happens a drop then a consolidation a consolidation and then another drop a consolidation depending on where the market is let me show you guys something so we have a downtrend, a consolidation, a downtrend, a consolidation. So this is what usually happens. If the market has started reversing from this point, now this is the next point that the market is going to come to before we see a round retest around this area. Together, if this is a perfect supply zone, then you see it's aligning up with the Fibonacci and then also a counter trend line from this low here that is when the market has started moving up when the market has started moving up once you get that tap usually once a 
supply zone or a demand zone is drawn and the market reverses back the market doesn't just come into the supply zone on the demand zone and remains there the market just taps and then you get a massive drop to the downside depending on the kind of uh, market you are trading at that particular point this is how i understand it i just saw it on um one of the guys videos i watch on youtube and then i just understand i just understood what he was talking about supply zone and then demand i wanted to learn it from dapo willis but he didn't really explain anything so i just like employed it in my own trading but supply zone okay. is very very easy there's one hour okay. supply zone and demand zone there's four hour supply zone and demand zone there's also a daily hour supply zone and demand zone now okay. if thank you, come, you if you come to, if you come to um euro usd this is a this is a this is a demand zone here this is a demand zone here, a very very perfect demand but it's not all that perfect because we had liquidity sweep and stuff like that and then it is also going against the trend but if you look at a perfect um a perfect supply zone which is in line with the overall direction in the market look at this area now let me just show you something uh -huh. look at this area now this is a perfect supply zone here this is a perfect supply zone you can see how the market reversed you can see how the market dropped and then came back tapped into this supply zone and then immediately the market dropped drastically this is a perfect supply zone is in line with the overall trend. The overall trend of um, Euro USD is the downside. So whenever it happens, you get to see a tap and then a drop. Now, again, this is another supply zone. If you go down to the four hour time frame, this is another supply zone. Now look at this tap. This, look at this perfect tap there. Perfect tap and then the market dropped drastically to the downside. There are many, many supply and then demand zones but you just have to train your brain to spot the better one for you together with other confluences you cannot just trade supply and demand like that okay, okay. so this is, sorry so the supply zone that you've just showed me um is similar to order block I don't know what is on that block, uh, to be honest. <laughs> forget, you know what, just forget. I get my head is just full of so many different things. So I just needed to don't worry. I'll 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 go over it because it looks, yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, no problem. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. When we get to Bitcoin, you can just show me what you wanted to show me. Thank okay. you. Okay. I think I'm done with Euro USD. Do you guys have any questions more on Euro USD? Oh. Any questions? No, no questions. No questions for me. So for me, we are looking at I'm even looking to add in more positions on this particular currency on my 50k account. Once we get a round retest around this area, which I think the market might um do that retest for when um, for tomorrow towards um open towards um New York opening. Once we get that retest, just to create the upper week on the daily time frame, if I get that retest, double top here, and the market might just drop to the downside. Hopefully, if that happens, then our predictions will be very, very right. So, but that is what I'm expecting for the market to retest previous high and then previous high. Here. And also, the 50% retracement of the weekly pin bar. I just showed you guys on the weekly time frame. So that is just it for your USD. Same thing as um GBP USD. For GBP USD, I'm just looking for um continuation to the downside. For today's candle, if it closes like this, we have a pin bar. Hopefully the market drops, market continues dropping down as that started from the psychological level of one of 30,000 and then you can see how the market broke out of this counter trend line here from here which started around April 2024 we had another touch around June 2024 and then currently in in August the market broke down below it we're just waiting for a retest around this um 
this supply zone we have on the four hour time frame. This is a supply zone on the four hour time frame. Sorry, guys. So this is a supply zone we have on the four hour time frame. If you still scale down to the one hour time frame, you can see that it is a well known supply zone. So this is a supply zone we had before our time frame. Very, very simple to understand. We are still expecting a lot of movement, a lot of volatility from tomorrow. And then if you look very, very closely, you can see that it's already forming that um chart pattern reversal, which is the uh which is the head and shoulders, the left, the left shoulder, the head, and then the potential um right shoulder we should have in the market. If that happens, then um uh, we'll be expecting a massive drop to the downside before um the news tomorrow. We're having news around um I think around it's eight AM tomorrow. One thirty. GBP. I thought it was seven AM. GBP GBP is seven AM. Seven is GBP and seven AM. Dave, and then the USD. Yeah. Yeah. USD. Dave, have you tried have we traveled out? Tell us the country. Oh that is giving you one. <laughs> no, no. He's right. USD is one thirty. He's right. USD yeah. is one thirty, but GBP is seven AM. Okay, seven AM. We have yeah. um climate call change and then we have average any in this all these things I don't I think concern me with them. I'm just after money. So <laughs> that's it for GBP USD, Euro USD, and then uh we looked at um uh, S and P five hundred for USD JPY. It stopped me out today. Unfortunately, it happens. Lost about it's it's a profound challenge. Uh, lost about three hundred bucks from it, but it still looks very Oops. much um bearish to me. Because uh, we are still having, we we just had that break. We had that break around there. If you look on the, if you look on the one hour time frame, I think we had the supply zone right above somewhere there. So if you look on the four hour one hour time frame, we have a supply zone around here supply zone around there so hopefully if that happens i don't know what is wrong with the yen price now but we should be setting up for some massive trending markets in the next couple of days so i wanted to um, i wanted to show you something yeah please do sorry on your usd jpy that one ah uh, that one ah uh, okay um i was seeing a a on the one hour time frame sorry i'll just yeah. show you something because yeah. we are saying something about supplies and um, this there's a candlestick here on before this trend line I, i'm seeing consolidation like yes i don't know how to show you say, this yeah but, but there's a really No, like pink line up again a little yeah. bit. Yeah. No, you should go go up again. Just carry the problem. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not hearing you. I ain't come again. Line and go up. Well, Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I'm hearing you. Sorry, my network was kind of tumbling. No problem.
My chat is not even open, so. So, my chat is not open, guys. Isn't clear the chat and come back. 